Welcome to the 1950s Gladiator Round Tournament. Today's comparison features Bill Pearl and Paul Winter. Bill Pearl, of course, one of my all-time favorites. But this Paul Winter is new to me fairly. I, I mean, I've heard of the guy a couple of years ago, but that is new to me. And everything I see about him, I like. He is growing on me and rapidly becoming one of my favorites for a 1950s or 60s guy, whenever he competed. It is difficult to give Bill Pearl a point here, even though I think structurally he is superior. Look at the size of those pecs and arms. But Paul Winter is really showcasing that small waist by expanding them. Lats, look how good he looks. Legs, yes, they are a whole lot smaller, but not that much smaller. And they are much more strided, at least in this shot here. So I am going to go ahead and give Paul Winter the first point. Of course, in this pose, Bill battles back, in my opinion. He is structurally superior, like I said, in the front relaxed position. But he wasn't really flexed up any boy, oh boy, is he here. Look at those legs, much more striated, and definitely, they're, they're a better, better set of wheels, for sure. And that waistline, yes, small, very small of Paul Winter, but I like that, that shape of Bill Pearl, the way those lats swoop down into the pretty decently small waist. I mean, it's not definitely not as small as Paul's. No one's is. But when you look at the size of those arms, it is, yes, yes. Definitely a Bill Pearl point. Now, here's where it may get a little bit controversial. As you can see here, Paul Winter was able to provide a fantastic front and rear lat spread. And Bill was not able to provide such a luxury of those two poses. So you might as well notch up two points for Paul Winter. But Bill battles back with these three dandies. He was able to provide a side chest, side tricep, and one world-class rear double by. And I mean, all three of these poses, fantastic. So, that considered, that would be one point for Bill Pearl. So, let's carry on with this competition. And this one here is a very difficult one to judge, in my estimation now. I'm sure there's two groups, one Voting for sure for Bill Pearl because of that thickness. I mean, I see vascularity. And this is a very blurry old picture. And look at that hard graininess and just thick, thick, thick back muscles. You can't compare when you look at it that way. But when you look at that V-taper and that tiny waist of Paul Winter, I could understand somebody giving the point to him. And I would like to give Paul Winter a point. He is... Losing this competition thus far, but I have to go with who I believe is the better man. And that thick, thick meat. Look at Bill Pearl's world-class back. He gets another notch, and you might just as well notch one more for Bill Pearl. He's just too much, too thick, and he is very aesthetic for a thick, muscular bodybuilder. He's just too much for Paul Winter. Paul Winter thus far has... He's taken out some pretty heavy competition, but Bill Pearl is another level altogether. This man, one of the greatest bodybuilders of all time, and he is one of my favorites for a reason. There is one last pose, and I honestly thought for sure I would be delivering a point to Paul Winter in this one, but when I do the comparison... Much like all of the other poses, Bill, he's just too much. He's a little bit taller, a little bit thicker. And when your conditioning is close like it is here, I will admit Paul's conditioning throughout this matchup might have been a smidge tighter than Bill Pearl. But like I said, that combination of a little bit taller, a little bit thicker, hard to beat for sure. And this is a, a rendition of an ab and thigh. And those abs of Bill look really good in this pose here. Of course, that waistline is always going to be better for Paul Winter. But when I look at those big, thick, thick, meaty thighs of Bill Pearl, he gets the notch for sure. Wow, look at those big hunks of meat. Thick thighs for sure. And as most of you did predict, 
Bill Pearl advances on to the final matchup in these brackets. And what a matchup that will provide Reg Park versus Bill Pearl. Two of the all-time greats, for sure, only really competed together once. And let's face it, Reg Park was not in his prime, and of course he did lose to Pearl. Pearl was looking pretty outstanding. He may not have been in his prime either at that universe competition. Either way, that's going to be an awesome pitcher comparison for sure. And I will be showing these. I will not be waiting till I reach a thousand subscribers and I am monetized. So we will get to see the 40s and the 50s final. Two to look forward to for sure. I like to take this time to thank each and every one of you guys for hitting that subscribe button. You are raising my sub level on a daily basis. If I was Louis Marco, I would say dailies, baby please, or something along them lines. But I am not him. I am Mark's Max Muscle. And I, I do good. I can do the voices and such. Uh, little comedy routines. I, I have a very dry, dry humor. Like, like a dry old piece of toast. Old black toast. Sure smells nice though, doesn't it? Either way, have a great day.